Welcome to Craziest Road Moments. Anyway, let's get into the video. Imagine being on the road when this happens, or this. At least it makes for some good entertainment. Keep your eye on the pedestrian approaching from the right. I'm still not exactly sure what he was thinking, but sir, you can't do that. <laughs> This guy could afford either a new boat or a new trailer. I guess we know which one he chose. Homie, what are you doing? Why? When this truck spotted someone rocketing down the freeway on a bicycle, no one could believe who was behind the handlebars. Wait, is she asleep? Sometimes it's not other drivers you gotta worry about, it's the pedestrians. What a waste of a perfectly good beverage. What's the matter with you? You never know what you're gonna find when you check your dash cam footage, like this kid using someone's car as a bike ramp. Sometimes when we're in a rush, it causes us to do things we would never do otherwise. In the case of these guys, nothing was going to stop them from getting past this gate. I hope wherever they were heading was worth it. When this guy overloaded his trailer with heavy vases, he learned a very important lesson about weight distribution. These staff shortages mean truck drivers have to empty their own cargo when they reach their destination. Yep, nailed it. What? These big wrought iron gates were built to keep out door knockers, salespeople, and everything under the sun. Just not crazy wild boars. If you woke up late and don't have time for a shower, there's a mobile option that most people don't know about. When they tell you they charge extra for postage, sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands. This truck's giving me some serious Final Destination vibes. Thankfully, no one was behind him when he lost his load. Oh, brother. As a delivery driver, there's three things you need to remember. Your uniform, friendly smile, and the handbrake. On a rural road in China, this farmer makes a weekly pilgrimage with a flock of over 300 ducks. He seems to enjoy the job, but for motorists stuck behind this parade, it's not all it's quacked up to be. If your engine's overheating, this is how not to cool it down. It will keep bugs off your windshield, though. <laughs> yeah, boy. These kids were all about the stunt life until one rider got a little too close to an expensive car. It shouldn't be too hard to catch up with him, though. Why would this man feel the need to attack a traffic light? It's anyone's guess, but you already know it's an overreaction. I'm not saying this is the world's worst reverse park, but just look at all the free space he's got to reverse into. Somehow he still manages to hit one of the only cars in the parking lot. Oh man. At first glance, you gotta be impressed with the amount of wood this guy's carrying. Then you realize there's no handlebars on the bike. Let's just hope his destination is a straight line. When this driver crashed headfirst into a street pole, it was pretty clear his car's no longer roadworthy. With a bent bonnet and fender, he's not going anywhere. But as it turns out, besides being a terrible driver, he's also an amateur panel beater. This is what happens when you drive too close behind a truck full of fresh hay bales. I guess that's one way to get rid of someone following you. Ever wondered how they transport trucks cross country? You get an even bigger truck. It's Truckception. I spoke to my auto electrician and he said this is exactly how the pros fix broken taillights. What's the best way to stay dry and keep fit on your morning commute? Obviously it's running down Main Street inside a giant inflatable Zorb, only in Russia. What a fox. This husky figured out how to use the road as a treadmill before jumping back up to safety. Never let anything stand in your way. This person doesn't. She wasn't about to just stand there and wait, so instead she did what every logical person would do. Okay, maybe not. I guess an axe in pure rage isn't always the answer. On a cold, icy morning, this driver just wanted to head down his driveway and onto the road. Well, he managed the first part, only sideways. Ouch! Here's one way to tell the Dobre brothers you think their content is cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought airlines were notorious for losing your luggage, you've obviously never caught a coach. Bye, have a great time. This guy used a parked Lambo as his own free running ramp. It's a miracle he didn't go through the windshield. Jealousy is a curse. <laughs> when this guy said he wanted to go drifting, he meant around corners, not through snow. <laughs> With an entire empty car park to maneuver in, this semi-trailer still manages to take out a fire hydrant before driving off. This security camera captured the absolutely bizarre moment a procession of pigs marched up the road and passed a boom gate. That's a whole swath of swines. I've never driven a Porsche, but apparently it's really easy to confuse the accelerator with the brake pedal. I know gas prices are absolutely ridiculous right now, but there's got to be a better way to get around. 
When it comes to visibility on the roads, you've got wipers for rain, demisters for fog windscreens, but what would you do in this situation? After this delivery driver gets clotheslined by a boom gate, he's got to be wondering whose idea it was to paint it white during winter. Don't look now, but I think your portable shrine has a stowaway. I'm a bad boy. Usually hills are no problem for your standard soccer mom mobile, but add in some freshly drifted snow and you're basically driving a sled. <laughs> Son of a biscuit eater. In most countries, drinking and driving is a serious crime, but in the Czech Republic it's one of the most common ways to get around. Good thing it doesn't actually have a motor. I've heard of high horsepower on the freeway, but this is ridiculous. The way he keeps pace with the police cruiser is impressive though, and he does this completely carrot powered. This peaceful Chinese village is about to get a taste of two-wheel stunt driving. While he managed to recover, that building might need a new paint job. When this guy stepped out to open the gate, he forgot one very important detail, the handbrake. Fortunately, it didn't take him too long to realize. At first glance, it looks like this guy's teaching his cement mixing truck how to dance, but it soon becomes pretty obvious that something's very wrong with this truck. Anyone tried turning it off and on again? If you've achieved your dream of owning a shiny new sports car, the last thing you want is for a truck to crash into it. Thankfully, this guy was around at just the right time. When a driver accidentally taps the mirror of a shiny new Porsche, the owner isn't happy. Let's be real, he barely even touched it. Just when you thought this was yet another video showing someone terrified of a tiny dog, things take a wholesome twist. Give me a kiss. There's nothing like a leisurely Sunday afternoon drive with your Wookiee in the passenger seat. Hey, it's cheaper than a professional blow dry. This tire decided it was time to break up with the truck it belonged to and go and do its own thing. Crossing both lanes and bumping off guardrails, it was already well on its way to freedom. Driving with your handbrake only half engaged results in your rear wheels locking up. I don't think this driver even noticed. One of the perks of driving an ultra low supercar is that boom gates don't nope. bother you. <laughs> Free parking for life. Even though I know this is just a case of a driver not securing his load properly, I can't help but feel that I've seen this episode of Takeshi's Castle. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. The crane hook accidentally started swinging at exactly the wrong moment, and by a stroke of good luck, it managed to miss the car and the man by the tiniest margin you'll ever see. What's the best way to ruin a perfectly good Chevy Camaro? Actually, there's no need to think. Just do what this guy did. Works every time. Hey, hey you! No, seriously, don't you think that's a little too much hate for such a small pickup truck? You guys can barely turn without tipping over. Parked a little too far over the line? No problem. Just make sure you have the kind of raw strength this girl has. There's dangerous crossings, and then there's this two-plank bridge over a canal. You can see the wooden beams bending under the weight of this van, but somehow he still makes it across in one piece. Don't forget to leave a like in the video, subscribe, and click the video on the screen to watch some more.